What's up, y'all? Choose here with another episode of Eat, Bitch, Eat. I'm that bitch. <laughs> um, you know what? I wish y'all could, like, tune in now. But, like, I wouldn't be able to communicate. But if you all would, like, it would be like a live, but a live where I was not communicating. At any rate, tonight um, I have for you some homemade sandwiches, ham and uh, Gouda cheese. And I've got white American cheese on one of these too. There's garlic aioli mustard on one of these and regular mustard on the other. And there's uh, two of these have sweet and spicy, sweet and tangy French dressing. Uh, I've got some queso ruffles. These are the ruffles with the most flavor. Guess in, in case you didn't know, these are the ones with the most flavor. Um, An Arnold Palmer, Arizona, half iced tea and half lemonade light. Uh, not what I wanted, but uh, the DoorDasher said they didn't have what I wanted. So, excuse me. And um, I will be busting open one of these, hopefully. My favorite chocolates for real Rochers. If you guys are doing well, if you've landed on this video, uh, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, if you like it, suck the thumb. If you don't like it, pull it out your butt. And um, yeah, so let's go. I need for you guys to, you know, post some comments if you hear anything that's worth commenting. I guess if you don't hear anything that I'm saying that's worth commenting about, then don't say nothing at all. Um, yeah, you can see these are very homemade. Uh, very thin, very, you know, bare bones, but I'm sure they'll be good. What I really wanted to have tonight... I will be eating it way too late, and I thought maybe I'll just save it for tomorrow. So, I've got Duke's mail on these too. This is the one with the um, white cheddar cheese. This is that brown berry. Uh, wheat bread. It may not be thick, but it's hard. Ooh. Let's skip that. I didn't say that. You know, I like it hard and stiff. The bread, my bread. I like my bread hard and stiff. Let's, let's go. Well, truth be told, you never mind. That's it. If people, people used to comment on how funny I eat. When I taste something that has a lot of flavor, I tend to want to suck on it with the roof of with the roof of my mouth. I tend to I can't just chew it. I want my tongue to taste it. None of this is sounding right. Okay, eat, bitch, eat. That's the reason why. And I'll tell y'all something that's going on with me right now. Mm -mm -mm. I have the worst crook in my neck on this side. I feel like I can't even turn this way. If any of you guys know, I've been massaging my neck. I don't have any kind of ice but I've been massaging it and 
hopefully tomorrow I'll, I'm not going to take anything tonight, but I might take something tomorrow. You guys are having a great Friday evening. I did laundry this morning, cleaned up. a good day to do it too. Not, it wasn't the best weather-wise. I stayed in all day. Mm. About, how long was it? Maybe Probably about two, close to three hours ago, I was taking out the trash as one of my little, my duties, my, it's my duty here in the building. And uh, this guy that I, I see him every now and then. He's lived in, I know he's lived in this building uh, about as long as I have. But I've never really had a like conversation with him until tonight. Now this sandwich has a Gouda cheese. Oh, and if I didn't say it, this is smoked deli ham from, um, what's the brand? I forgot the brand. I think it might be Hormel, I'm not sure. This has regular mustard on it. I don't think this is the aioli. And Duke mustard, uh, Duke, Duke's mayo. Let's see, I'm not gonna eat all three of these. In fact, if you see me change the, th the thumbnail, I really just did that for effect. Can I ask you something? I said, sure. Like, you've lived here a long time. And I said, yeah, I'm going to go. Have you noticed any, like, that this building gets kind of creepy? Like, 11 o'clock at night or, like, in the wee hours of the morning? I said, uh-huh. <laughs> I knew exactly what he meant. This building has always had a creepy vibe to it. It's like I don't know, the first thing I think about is The Shining. That's what I think about. And he was saying how, you know, it doesn't help that there have been, you know, a few people that have died in this building, which is true. And um, I was thinking that maybe he saw something recently, but he hadn't. 
it was just a feeling that he felt or feels, I guess, somewhat frequently. <laughs> I know exactly what he meant. There was a woman on my floor that, um, I mean, I think it was three weeks. He told me that it had been three weeks that she had been dead. He said that he, because he lived kind of near where she did, but on the top floor. So he would always take the stairs when he would come and go. And he noticed a, some kind of a smell. He had never smelled a decaying body before. Neither have I. And I never smelled anything because I lived on the opposite end of the floor uh, where she used to live. So, I mean, if I got close enough to that, but my sinuses, you can't trust anyway because they so jacked up, it ain't even funny. But she had been dead for three weeks. What I do remember they had to um, it was a long time for them to air that out. Am I going to eat this third one? I don't really want to. Well, you see the sandwiches are good, right? Um, oh, and do you guys remember, those of you that have, you know, been with me for a minute, do you remember that I, when I told you about a guy that lived below me and you know, we, we kind of had a, a little bit of an altercation between floors. He would bang his broom up to me. And then um, the building manager had the brilliance to uh, move him onto this floor. <laughs> Do you remember me telling you that? And then you remember me telling you that that guy died like some time later? Um, I never found out what the deal was, and I still don't really know what the deal was, but talking with the guy tonight in the laundry room, he was saying that, you okay? Sorry, talking to my eater. He was saying that um, uh, he had saw somebody that, that it was a Sunday, I remember because my big ass was waiting for some food to be delivered, and um, I know eat, bitch, eat, shut up. Anyway, um, waiting for some food to be delivered. I was outside. There was a lot of, you know, commotion. There was a fire truck and everything. Um, but before, I, I didn't even know he was out there. He saw this woman who looked like, you know, you know, she was crying and whatnot. Turned out to have been the girlfriend. She had been trying to reach him. And uh, she couldn't, so she came by. And apparently what happened, he must have came in one night, I mean the night before, and hit the floor. Just He just died instantly. I don't know how, I don't know what he took, what he drank, but that was how he died. Because I didn't know if it was foul play or what. Why am I talking about this to y'all? Am I that, am I searching for something to talk about that badly? Well, this was the conversation that I had with the guy. So, what he told me. I know you all are waiting for me to eat this third sandwich, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna bug, bring it to my chocolates. My neck is so stiff. Oh, God. 
God, it hurts. I've been not sleeping the best. I need new pillows. I mean, I'm just, I am a hot mess. The knee, knee is still funky. Going down steps. Mm. Mm. Sweet and salty. One more. I was looking for, well, I wasn't looking. The DoorDasher was looking. Um, the dark chocolate version of these. But she didn't, um, they didn't have them available. Ferrero Rocher's. My favorite chocolates ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for anybody right now that's been waiting for me to put chips on a sandwich, on this sandwich. You can't really see it, but. So if you've been watching this and you've been thinking or wondering if I was gonna do it, this is for you guys. I only hope that you watch the video because I've been getting low views, so. I hope that you have uh, watched this far to be able to appreciate it. I will take one bite of this sandwich, which is not going to really taste good after eating that chocolate, but here we go. I have a big bite too. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I rarely do that, so I feel like some of you might appreciate it. I don't know. At any rate, y'all, I think that's going to be it. I need to give myself a little trim. I need to get myself a little trim too. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Um, subscribe. I'm always looking for new chubies. And uh, but once you do that, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content. Um, I feel like I'm. I feel like I definitely want to do something tomorrow after work. Um, I get off a little early tomorrow, too, so, you know, I, I feel like something's going to be in the air unless something else comes up. Uh, I can uh, present to you guys what I wanted to do. I've had it before, but I haven't had it in a while. I think you guys will like it. Okay. Have a good night, y'all. Take care. Bye.